Okay, late night packing, and we leave in the morning. Does this look familiar? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This might be as far as I get tonight, but tomorrow is gonna be a slammed day doing all the things. Okay, honey. Alrighty, happy, happy leaving on another trip morning. We just, uh, these are piles of my four and six year olds clothing that I am packing in this bag, also packing everybody. We're supposed to have 80s or mid 80s uh, pretty much every day this week, but we know how that can change. So also packed a sweatshirt for both boys and I'm packing four pairs of pants. And we're, we're just, we're doing our things. Yes, this is stuff for you and Daniel. We're doing it. Okay, so total haphazard. We've actually planned this for a couple months now, but I feel like I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, pulling everything together. We had a really busy week. There's lots of things happening. My life, your life, you know it's busy. So anyway, everything is packed in the van, but I did not get to go to Sharp Shopper a couple days in advance to get food, to get snacky food for this trip. We also have a birthday tomorrow, so I need to go into Family Dollar. The boys did a really excellent job filling this van. I told them, I said, now I've got to go to Sharp Shopper on our way down on our trip. So leave me some space in this van. So I'm gonna show you everything packed, including Amelia's stack of toys and the baby seat and the stroller, uh, but we're doing real good. And then we're gonna go get a bunch of snacks at Sharp Shopper. Okay, so here we go. Lots of you asked last time how we have room for everybody and everything. Well, we have this 15 passenger plus extended cargo area, just, you know, all my hopes and dreams van that uh, we bought several years ago. It's a 2013. So anyway, space is on this floor besides my pile of stuff there. Now, some things we brought from the house, like coffee, priorities, peanut butter, jelly, uh, baking pans. Travis got a case of water. Um, there's some apples there. I didn't want to leave at the house because we'd be gone for like eight days. And so I tried to grab, you know, things we needed to take, but yet we don't have a cooler with us right now or anything. Okay, into Sharp Shopper we go, yeah. Okay, so I came into Family Dollar for birthday things. That bag is so cute, we'll have to get it. I'm also getting uh, emergency ramen noodles <laughs> in some different forms and some mini uh, raviolis there because we're not going to be able to do our grocery pickup order probably till tomorrow at some point um, where we're going there's not like restaurants right there and such they're, everything's 30 minutes away so I'm thinking I don't know I need ramen yay <laughs> all right so birthday supplies and maybe a late night noodle dinner depending on what time we get there and how how it all lines up you know you know you don't know that's it that's what you always know haha -ha. Okay, I have not seen this deal in here in a long time, 99 cents, so I'm going to get a whole case. It'll be a couple lunches or something. So all kinds of really good granola bar deals, baked oatmeal squares, the kids like these. We got those a couple months ago, got a case of them, probably going to get some fruit snacks. So you know I'm hyperventilating over these uh, packs of veggie straws. There's six in a box for 99 cents, got a whole case. So pretty much we filled a cart full of lunch snacky things for the week and we're gonna check out now and see what we spent. Alrighty, so here it is. So it was $148 for this overflowing cart full of snacks and we're gonna have up to 13 people with us. So I don't know, will we bring any home? We shall see. And then the Walmart grocery pickup order tomorrow will reflect lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. Let's see, good organization. You gonna put the veggie straws in last? Return it, okay. See, it used to be Jaden stacking in my grocery haul videos and now it's Gabriel stacking. All right, tired mom face, 11 p.m. We did it though, we made it, we're here. Picked up some water at a, not a Wawa, at a Miller's. We did, because that was something I was worried about before we got here, anyway, okay. So here, I'm gonna give you a house tour before I bring everybody in, because most of them are half asleep and that's okay, they won't mind. So here's where we're staying for the next week. So we come in, and there's a foyer. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like we're on a boat. Long hallway down there. Stairs going up. This is the first bedroom. I think there's seven bedrooms here and maybe four bathrooms. Anyway, first bedroom. It also has a futon. 
TV's everywhere. And then here, it's a Jack and Jill bathroom for this one. So we got this bathroom, shower, water closet, waste baskets, and then another bedroom back here. Nice, nice, very nice, huge closet. Look, we got like a boat pier. And then, so I already toured around first before I filmed this tour for you. Hopes and dreams in my life. Are you ready for this? Look at this. Just all the big size, all the big mom size. We've got shelving and a washer and a dryer and a room for it and a door that closes. But they knew I was coming, look at this extra second fridge thank you thank you we appreciate that so lots of fun definitely we'll get some use from that washer and dryer so there's decks all around all over and we'll see those <laughs> we'll see them now through the little port windows right so then we go upstairs Okay, all right, mama's home. So we got a big, nice big open kitchen and then a living room area. I already closed those curtains because we could see the people playing pool at the house across the street. <laughs> another bathroom, another bedroom, nice. Bathroom. Can't have too many, right? And then another bedroom, another closet, another TV. Nice rooms. I'll show you where we're gonna put the the four youngest boys. A lot, it'll be lots of fun for them. But anyway, big kitchen. Hello, island. Hello, cabinets. Oh, utensils <laughs> or various things. Then. One of the reasons I knew this house would work, they said they had a dining room table for 14. So again, decking around back, another bedroom, another dresser, closet, TV, kind of all the, the same. Look, we got a little, this'll be fun. <laughs> and then, okay, come around here. So yes, couch couch area then another bedroom yay popcorn ceilings we don't mind another tv and then there's a bedroom here with some twin beds behind that curtain more goes out to more decking another bathroom yay and then so this is where you shall see Little boy shall like this. Okay. I never like open stairs like that though. Let's not do let's not do that. Okay, so then this is a loft area. So we've got double bunk beds there, big TV, couch, then a little maybe game playing table there. Out to the decks again that way. And a bathroom yay with a little flip flip flop theme oh okay we don't need to open this do we <laughs> I will tell them mom said mama said don't open that but here we go this is the the tour before the family comes in our goal tonight is just to get our stuff in here get to bed are these stairs cute and tomorrow Tomorrow we'll worry about all the other things. I got the grocery order scheduled. Couldn't get it until seven tomorrow night, but that's okay. Again, we got that emergency ramen and macaroni <laughs> and I got special like birthday fun type breakfast um, for in the morning. And we got a special fun birthday thing we're gonna do tomorrow too. So yay, lots of fun. Alrighty, so we, we have our late night energy now. So we've been unpacking stuff, making sure Mom, we- uh, my coat. Okay, hold on. Look, hold on. 
Anyway, unloading cereal. That's what I'm trying oh to say. God. We'll find. We will find your clothes. So here's just how we've kind of unloaded various <laughs> various things we need, and those sharp sharper snacks, and some of the food I packed from home. And uh, again, we'll be fine till we get the grocery order that has more of our dinner items. And yes, watermelon, fresh fruits and vegetables, and such. So, and then over here. Okay, the kitchen's starting to look like I'm here. We've we've brought the slow cooker, we brought the instant pot, we have our midnight noodles, got our cleaning supplies, coffee, check, ready to go. Already the kids were like, oh look, we can play restaurant here. All right, good morning, happy birthday. So here's our little breakfast plates that we made. And of course I said, you gotta eat some apple with it. But breakfast plates, here we go. Happy birthday, yay. Lexus, Karen, and Stacy. We also have a wonderful volunteer on board, Charles. Okay, we just stopped the boats for dolphins. Oh, stop. See if they come on this side of the boat, they were on the other side. They're over there, I just saw one. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Did you see it? And then they're over there. There it goes. You guys are much like some of you guys, and they are visitors to our area. They are not visitors. There it is. What we should do in a minute is take a step back and let some other people over here, okay? Right now they're catching some, probably some spot, definitely croaker, some sea trout. Sometimes they'll pull up a little ray. Maybe a little shark. I don't know how much it's showing up on camera, but there's probably about 12 dolphins over there. Like, not today, dolphin, not today. You didn't die? I'm glad. I didn't die either. We're doing well. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. We did not die. I didn't say that. You didn't say that? Okay. It's right there by us. And that dolphin has to eat a lot of fish. On average, dolphin has to eat about 5% of weight in fish a day. So you figure a 500 pound dolphin has to eat about 25 pounds of fish. It's really shaky. It's a lot of fish. You need to find a spot and hold on. Conservation is so it's important. not a walk around time. A dolphin has teeth. It's actually got sharp teeth, about 90 to 100. But he doesn't use those teeth to chew his 
Alrighty, so now we are having dinner at Captain George's. Because that grocery order is coming in late, Mama will start cooking tomorrow. But look at that beautiful stained glass that's in the roof. Love it. And now plot twist while we wait for our grocery order. I've come, I'm in this huge Dollar Tree. I want to see what what is a Dollar Tree like down at the beach. This this place is huge. Let's see what they have. Lots of little foaming body washes and soaps. I like it. Oh, scrunchies. Scrunchie alert. Oh, it's a scrunchie brand. See that, Amelia? It's a what? It's the scrunchie brand. Scrunchie. Just meaning good scrunchies. And lots of nice headbands. We're, we're enjoying these socks. <laughs> so this is another little purse for me to leave in the van when I forget my other little purses in there because I always carry a purse that's too big. Sometimes I explode them so much I need a smaller purse to just take my wallet and keys in or something. Now these are really, really cute baskets. Look, Look at, at these. these. These little organizing tubs, yes. Do you see things you need for your desk at home? Should we buy organizing things over here? We don't have baskets like this at our Dollar Tree. Look how cute those are. Okay, now they are. I was gonna say, now let's compare the toy aisle. Oh. Now little boys might like these. Just, yeah, or just like even activities on the deck there, maybe. <laughs> Lots of nice school things. Mm hmm. Oh, they're empty. They're empty boxes. They're empty? Oh, maybe they just reinforce the other crayons. Awesome. Like the boxes. Knitting things. Oh, scrapbook things. Mm -hmm. If we had more free time, we'd scrapbook. Mm -hmm. So many crafty things. Yeah, this is a very robust Dollar Tree. Oh, we are so excited by this. Look at this. Let me get... It's a little palette. It's a little palette. Should I get get one for Gabriel and one for Liam so and say, look, yeah. we got you a palette. They love palettes for building. Mm -hmm. Got some Hot Wheels stuff. Big toy aisle. They look like bubbles. Yeah. Um, Lots of food at this Dollar Tree. Aisles and aisles here. Alrighty, another day, another cup of coffee. It's about a little after seven here, been up for an hour or so. Tobit is up. We've we've watched, been watching the sunrise. Everybody's still asleep except for my mom and Tobit and I. Gonna have a full day doing all the fun beachy things. And I think I'm going to uh I think this video was about <laughs> me getting <laughs> getting food for the trip and uh, not cooking. So today starts the cooking. So I'm gonna cook up the ground beef this morning and then throw that uh, in a slow cooker with some various beans that I got. And we'll have two days of tacos, taco salad, soft shell tacos. Uh, at least for the next two nights dinner, we'll probably run into some lunches as well. And then, then continue on with different meals. I'm gonna cook them and film to do a updated large family meals. Woo, there's Tobin, large family meals on vacation. This looks like it's a good week to come because it's in the 80s, mid 80s every day still. And then uh, after this, it'll go down to the 70s. Woo, that's my little birdie. Just the, the weather's a change. And I think today's the first official day of fall. Today, Tobin is right about six months today as well, so. Just uh, celebrate good time. So those are some of the meals coming up this week. This is my second cup of coffee because it's such a little petite. We have like a corral dish set here. Anyway, oh, Tobin's about done. Okay, so we picked up that grocery order late last evening 
and I'll uh, just give you a quick little like grocery haul tour on where things went. Orange juice, all of that uh, can be in the second refrigerator because last time we traveled in the spring, we we're at a location where we had Instacart and just whatever we needed more milk or we needed more odds and ends throughout the week, I could put it in order and have it delivered on our front porch. I thought the Walmart was gonna be 30 minutes away and I think it's actually, it's like 20. Anyway, I, I live three minutes from a Walmart in daily life, so my, my perspective has changed. Oh, you wanted, you wanted to say something, didn't you? Uh, anyway, should not need anything for the rest of the week, right, Tobin? We are 14 people at the beach house right now, and we will, and we may be up to 16, at least for one dinner. So, anywho, all the stuff for our mega meals for while we're here. Now I'll show you, now we'll show them. Right, Tobin? Okay, okay. So you know we're here because watermelon. Right, Tobin? Watermelon. And then the bananas. The bananas. We put some bread there. Put little applesauce cups there. And then, hold on here. This is the refrigerator. Tobin's trying to help me adjust the camera. Okay, so... There's the refrigerator. Got another box of eggs downstairs. Yes, and then we put all the water bottles in there so they will be cold. And then, I don't know, I must have been craving Italian ice, although everybody loves them. Uh, we got some birthday ice cream, some tater tots for some things I'm cooking. Yay. And then all lined up. Looks like we live here. Instant pot, slow cooker. More onion powder, garlic powder. Yay. More applesauce. And then totally filled up this little pantry. But beans, yes. And then, I don't know. I don't think with my one hand I can open those little doors right now. Chicken broth. Maybe. Can we do it, Toby? Can we do it? Oh, yes, there's our, there was our emergency ramen. Put more spices down there, that's good. Okay, there we go. So, we don't really live here, but we've got to feed a lot of people for the next week. So, there we go. And then, like how I did on our last trip, I'm going to pack probably that goat bag there. I brought those taco shells from home, but I'm going to pack heavy snacks. So, we'll have a snacky snacky lunch but those are our sharp shopper snacks yay so in my next video we're going to be doing some sheet pan breakfast <coughs> several got some instant pot dinners planned uh sheet pan meals maybe one more thing gonna do a chicken tortellini soup with a slow cooker like i say i've we've we've celebrated we've eaten out we had the ramen noodles, we had the crab legs, see? <laughs> it's just a, if it's not ramen noodles, it's crab legs, ha ha. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with us and headed down on this little adventure. As I say, the next video will be a large family meals of the week on vacation with uh, more watermelon. Again, we have to close out summer, right? More watermelon and more meals and mama actually cooking. So I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye. Are you up with everybody else? You're guarding the snacks. You guarding the snacks, Tobin? You got your fox? Oh, that's exciting, huh? And then over here, I'll show you how this, uh, it's after seven now, so you can see, woo, woo, woo. We were blinded by the light, aren't we? Maybe. So anyway, let me set my coffee down. The, uh, these are our neighbors right in front of us. Atlantic Ocean is there, and there, and there. So, and we hear the waves and such when we're outside. Let's see if I, well, I'll show you in the next video. That way I don't have to figure out how to open this door. But my mom and I have been outside this morning in this little screened in porch. And then there's a rooftop deck as well. So, and there's access to the beach just right across the road here, so. This is where we're going to be going today. Okay, goodbye for real. Yay! Mm -hmm.